installing ubuntu on a windows machine using virtual box and configuring it for scrapy playwright development that's the agenda for today's video let's start the first thing that you need to do is just search for download ubuntu so eventually you will reach this page ubuntu downloads and what you need to find is ubuntu desktop not the server desktop so just click it and here you will have this download button so just click on download and it will download one ISO file. So this page is going to cover how to run Ubuntu desktop on a virtual machine using VirtualBox. So this is essentially our agenda for today. And this one uses VirtualBox. So if you have followed the link for VirtualBox, so it's a little bit complicated, but let me show you what you need to look for. All you need to do is you need to look for Windows host. Okay, so just click on it and it will download virtualbox.exe. So the first thing you will do is you will install virtualbox. So let's open this file. We have a warning that it is going to temporarily disconnect the network. So there is one warning about a missing dependency and install. So there we go. Now at this point, don't be confused with this add button. This add is when you already have a virtual machine. We don't have it, we just have the ISO. So you need to go to machine and click on this new so this is where you can give it a name and this is where you need to provide the iso image path so i'm going to use this drop down select other and it has already detected that this is a linux ubuntu 64-bit installation so a username and password i'm going to create my own so i'm going to give it around 4 gb and four cores it's asking for creating a virtual hard disk now so 25 gb default is fine click on next and now you have a summary and click finish and there we go it has created a virtual machine and now it is going to start that virtual machine so it's just like starting an actual machine try or install ubuntu it's going to run the complete installation wizard and it's going to take some time all right so it took 45 minutes to install ubuntu on this machine but anyway we are up and running now uh, there are some more customization that we can do. The screen is actually very small. The resolution is fixed. So let's uh, fix the resolution. Let's search for settings. Now, as you can see that if you go to appearance, the right side is hidden. So let's uh, drag this and let's look for resolution. So in fact, we can directly search for resolution. So here you can see that the resolution is set to 800 by 600. So I'm going to make it slightly bigger. So on this monitor, I've set it to 1280 by 720. So I'm going to apply the same resolution. So now we have this full screen. Your Ubuntu will have some version of Python 3 pre-installed. So because I'm running a fresh version of Ubuntu, I have version 3.10. All right, so let's move on. Now let's check whether we have pip. So we do not have pip, so let's install it. So copy and paste very simple and I'll have to enter my password and apparently I cannot type my password pip is getting installed the next step is to check whether we can create virtual environments or not so I'm just going to run python 3-m venv so this is the package that I like to use we have a warning that venv is not available but we have a very friendly information how to install it so let's copy and paste it and we have a warning here so let's use a sudo so this is sudo or sudo that i'll leave up to you just give you the hint that the full form of the command is super user do so do as super user so that's how it became sudo so i'm going to create one folder now i'm going to create a virtual environment python 3 m V E N V. This is the script that I'm going to run to create virtual environment. And usually I prefer to name my virtual environment again as V E N V. So the command that we are going to run is V E N V and then activate. All right. So now you see that V E N V is activated. So now we are working with virtual environment. All right. So now let's run. We clear everything. Let's run pip install scrapy dash playwright. So it is going to install three things. It is going to install Scrapy, it's going to install Playwright, and it is also going to install Scrapy 
dash a playwright plugin. So one single command to uh, run everything, install everything. So give, give it some time, let it install and uh, let's come back to the video. Before we start running the playwright project, we have to run one more command and this is going to be playwright install. So what this command will do, this is going to install all the required browsers. All right, so now everything is ready. Now let's try to run one of the existing code. So this is one of the repository that I have shared with you. You can use it as it is. So I'm just going to copy and let's see whether git is installed. So git, okay, so git is not installed. Use apt install to install git. So we have an error. The solution is to run sudo apt update. Okay, and after that you can run upgrade, so up update and then upgrade. Now this step is going to take a little bit of time. All right, so the update is now complete. So let's again try to run git installation. And there we go. Git is now installed. So let's run git clone. And there we go. So now I have the repository ready. This is the repository name. And here you can see that we have main.py. So let's run python3 main.py. I have this uh, module missing. So let's install this one as well. So pip install scraper underscore helper. So let's run main.py again. And as you can see, it's trying to run. And there we go. So we can see that the browser opened and our scraper is running perfectly fine. So that's it. Best of luck.